and we are well into our rainy season, but some neighborhoods are feeling the effects worse than others. Back to back storms have meant back to back flooding. It's been a best for a lot of folks. CBS News Miami's Ted Scott and joining us live now from Hollywood, and he has more on the city's fix for flooding. And Ted, residents you spoke to there are kind of wary. Yeah, a couple of the people I spoke to have been flooded more than once, so at this point they are wary. But here's what's going on in Hollywood. You can see back here, this is a retention ditch. This is in one of the areas that's prone to flooding. What they've been doing is dredging it out, pulling out debris, making it easier for water to actually flow off the streets and away from homes. Well, the lake has escaped again. When some 20 inches of rain fell on parts of South Florida last month, Michelle Eichenberger knew it was not looking good for her in Hollywood. Yep. Well, the problem wasn't fixed. I'm flooded again. I used to love rain. Nothing was better than, you know, just a good old fashioned thunderstorm and a good movie. Now, this is the second flood that I have been through. Billy Oliver's yard flooded, along with some areas of his home. They both live on Johnson at I-95. Working against them, a private lake that overflowed, water runoff from I-95, and very heavy rain. Nothing's been done yet. Here we are. Round two. Ding, ding. What you're actually seeing is a very deep ditch that's going to go from here all the way up to Sheridan Street. Hollywood is working on an interim solution. It began before last month's heavy rain. They're dredging and widening retention ditches at Eco Golf Course near 14th and Sheridan and at the old Sunset Golf Course on Johnson Street. We're deepening it. We're widening it in the uh, uh, hopes that when the storm's water comes off of 14th Avenue, it's going to drain into here and stay off the road. The plan is to also improve a canal that will move the water out more quickly. The city's also considering using the actual golf course as a water holding area during big storms. We're looking at using the golf course, parks, open space as um, a place to send the water to get it off the streets and away from our residences. Michelle is not convinced. I was hopeful last year. After you get wiped out twice, you kind of lose hope. Am I hopeful? No. Now, the city is telling folks like Michelle, don't lose hope because uh, at this point, they said they're working on it, including a comprehensive stormwater master plan. As for the dredging project, that should be complete within the next month or two. Live in Hollywood, Ted Skelton, CBS News, Miami.